Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. In today's episode, we're hanging out with Rene from Off Grid Trek, and he's gonna show us his Chobe caravan. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. I wanted to take just a minute and ask that if you enjoy our content, please share our videos on your social media pages. That'll help us gain a lot of traction. Also, don't forget to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell icon. That'll help keep you up to date whenever we release a new video. Okay guys, we're back. So we're here with Renee from, from Off Good Check. I'm gonna let him explain to you a little bit of what he's got going on here. We also are buying our solar blankets from him and that was how our, our relationship was established. Um, so I'm gonna let him show you uh, his cool little rig here and then we'll show you the solar blankets and how those hook up and uh, and we'll just take it from there. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, my name is Renny. I'm, I'm the owner of Off Grid Trek. We're based out of Calgary, Alberta. Um, this is uh, from South Africa. It's actually the very first one in North America. It's a caravan style. The, it's made by, uh, manufactured by Echo 4x4. They're out of, uh, out of Johannesburg. Um, this is the lightest caravan in the world. It's 1,679 pounds dry. Um, I have a 4Runner, heavily modified, not the best tow vehicle, but it handles like a dream behind this. Give you a couple ideas about this. This sleeps for in full comfort, has full kitchen, uh, 75 liter Dometic fridge freezer, full electrical, uh, even has a pump that runs off the electrical for the, for the hot water on the mand and the shower. And if you can see on the ground over here, our 215 watt solar blanket, this actually powers everything. The metal spec electrical panel on here, it's designed, it'll run off of generator shore power, uh, 110 trickle charge off your vehicle. But at the end of the day, you really don't need a generator. If you have a good uh, solar, that's all you thats all you really require. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's get it set up. I'm going to let you guys uh, watch as he gets it set up. You just pop up the top. Now I'm just going to open up the windows for a little bit of ventilation. Just because it was pretty warm in here today. There you go. Like basically, if you want an area to, you've got heavy rain, you've got bad weather, that's how long it takes and you've got an area you can just hang out in. You could easily move all of the mattresses here, just have one on the ground and there's a, an area that you can just curl up and sleep if you just want a spot to. Yeah, just a just spot to crawl in, yeah. Wow. But yeah, this cool. sleeps for us, so I'll, I'll open up both of the, uh, the two beds just to give everybody an idea. Want to make sure it's fully extended, which it is. It's a pretty simple system. And all it has here, there are four spots, it's just uh, the bars that go up, just Velcro. And they use the, the Velcro on here. It's pretty heavy duty. I, I have customers that have trailers, I think they're seven years old now. And they're saying the Velcro that they have on there is still got support legs here this will actually hold up to 600 pounds so it's a good amount and this is another sleeping area I'll adjust the legs once I actually have it down but this is it you just pull it towards you same thing as the other, you just unzip this, and by the way the mosquito netting on all of the uh, all of the windows on here, and even the rear door, it's all mil spec mosquito netting, okay. which is pretty cool. And then same thing, we just, there's four velcro points, and I've been in some pretty heavy winds, I've been in heavy rain with this, uh, even snowstorms. You're basically taking all your living inside area and moving it to the outside, right? Oh yeah. That's kind of the ascent that's the essential big big push here is you're not living in luxury inside, you're living in luxury outside. Outside, yeah. Because yeah. that little panel there tells you the, the amperage in. So it's not bad. 
And this is off your solar blanket. Just right? laying flat on the ground. So that's the weather. With the solar blanket, that's what we're getting. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, and usually it's got, it, and keep in mind there's a fridge freezer that's drawing about 0.25. So we're actually and getting- And that's on? Okay. Yeah. So realistically, we're getting about 0.75 app in. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, it's not amazing. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it kind of yeah, is. It actually, this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, without, <laughs> Yeah, without sun in here doing that, it's pretty amazing. The thing is, the way these are designed, you have the same holes on the side. So you can move over here. You can, uh, you can use these if you choose to. Let's say you get a flat, you can jack up the, uh, yeah. the vehicle with these. And that's actually a really cool jack system. Oh. Isn't that cool? This is unbelievable, to be honest. And I mean, it's like... On the hot days, this... All I do is be Yep. Because it's a meat. Well, you can already feel the ventilation, yeah, yeah. which is huge. But I suppose you get air just flowing through here, right? But the other day when we were just outside of Utah, throw two of those on, and it's you don't even hear them, and it makes a huge difference. Yeah, those are, those are crazy quiet. Yep. And this guy, you'll see, it sets up literally in the That is pretty cool.